Hi, this is Rishi from DP Review, and we're here at Sony headquarters in New York City taking a look at their flagship APS-C camera that they just launched, the Alpha 6500. Although it might look very similar to the A6300, there are a lot of differences, both internally and externally. The grip has been redesigned to be more like the A7 series of cameras. It's beefier, which means it'll be easier to hold telephoto lenses. They've also added a C1 and C2 button here for a total of 10 customizable buttons. Some of the biggest changes, though, are internal. Inside of here, they've actually managed to put in a 5-axis image stabilization system. This 5-axis IS system offers up to five stops of image stabilization, and they were able to include this 5-axis IS system without increasing the size of the body over the A6300. Thanks to the touchscreen, you can now tap to focus in video. This will enable you to rack focus between subjects in your scene. The touchscreen also makes it really easy to just tap to select your subject and then have the camera track it. A new front-end LSI inside of the camera helps with a lot of the internal processing and allows for a huge buffer. In fact, you can shoot 270 JPEGs consecutively or 150 RAW and JPEGs. And with a huge buffer, 150 RAW plus JPEGs actually gives you about 14 seconds of continuous 11 FPS shooting. In terms of video, it has the same features as the A6300, except now you have image stabilization with all your lenses. This is Rishi from DP Review. Thanks for watching, and for all things digital photography related, head over to dpreview.com.